Derek Gibbon along with Michael Carter from the USTA, and we're here to learn to bet harness racing. In this segment, we're going to look at track configuration. And most people would think that, you know, the horse is going around circles, you know. <laughs> What's the difference? Does the size really matter? And I'm here to tell you, and I'm sure Mike will agree, size does matter when it comes to the size of the track you're racing at. You know, we're going to take a look at a few different things. The first thing we're going to look at is the sizes of the tracks. Let's look at our graphic here for the four different track sizes. Uh, the first one we have up there is half mile, which is four turns. Some of the tracks that use that are Yonkers, Northfield, the Little Brown Jug is raced mm -hmm. over a half mile track. And we're gonna take a look at a race from Yonkers, I think it's the 2019 Rooney, to show you to run to the first turn. Yeah, and obviously this is gonna be the shortest uh, run up to the first turn and one of the shorter stretches. Actually, Buffalo Raceway uh, in New York here actually has the longest uh, stretch of all the half mile tracks and harness racing. And, you know, it, some horses, as you can see there, uh, don't handle the turns all that well. A lot of them are sweeping. At Northfield, they are really banked. Yeah, and it, you could see, and the reason why we let this run a little bit longer than we're gonna let some of the other ones run is how short the back stretches yep. are and, and how much time they spend on the turns. These turns come up often, and there are four of them in a half mile race. Yeah, and some horses, it's just not for them. Uh, they might come off the mile track to the half mile track, and as you saw earlier, you know, they may make breaks, they may not be able to handle the turns. Half mile tracks just aren't for everybody. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Our second uh, type of track up there is five eighths. On this type of track, we have three turns. We're gonna take a, a look at a video here. I think this one's from Pocono of the Ben Franklin. You might re remember this if you watch some <laughs> of our other videos, you know, from the slanted starting gate. But here, the run is a little bit longer into the first turn, you know, and they're going after three turns. Yeah, I like the 5 8 mile tracks because, for one, you have the slanted starting gate, and it allows everybody pretty much to get into a position. Um, you have posts four, five, and six who do predominantly well on the 5 8 mile tracks. And, you know, tracks like Pocado, they're super speedy through that first turn. It allows them to kind of get into a good early position and then uh, contest it. As you see right here, uh, with the four horse coming to the outside, they went an opening quarter of 26 and three, but it allows them to make some kind of middle moves through a stretch before they get to the half. No doubt about it. Our third type of track we're gonna discuss is the seven eighths track. And this one's kind of unique because the run into the first turn is usually pretty long. We're going to take a look at a video from the North America Cup from 2019, and you'll see how far. You can even see the on-screen graphic of how far they get to go. Yeah, definitely. And they also have some of the longer stretches. I know when I'm watching Woodbine Mohawk Park or Harris Hoosier Park, for instance, I'm always screaming, where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line? Because there's just so long down the stretch. And some horses, uh, Derek, as you know, they get loose on the lead and they come in down the stretch they're up by three or four and they think they might be done and then they start to kind of tire a little bit and allows horses to kind of come from behind. Yeah, it's a completely different ball game. Even from the seven eights tracks to the mile tracks, it's, it's a lot different. Even though they're both big tracks, they run up into the first turn. It gives more, more of the horses a chance to settle and right. find their position before they get to the turn so they don't have to lose ground. By lose ground, we mean it's harder to race on the outside because yep. you're you're covering more distance. Yeah, and on the bigger tracks, you know, like the seven eights, like Woodbine Mohawk Park, and the mile tracks is where you see some of those 11 and 12 horse fields uh, that we discussed before in one of our other trip handicapping things. And that kind of hurts post nine and 10 because those horses start from the second tier towards the inside. So it kind of gives them a little bit more of an advantage. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at our final video for the mile tracks. And the mile tracks is uh, a lot different. And there, you see, here's the Meadowlands. This is the Meadowlands pace. The run to the short turn to the first turn is pretty short. Yeah, the run to the first turn, especially at the Meadowlands, is pretty short. And uh, you know, on some of the mile tracks, you know, they can you know arrange the quarter poles where they want them. But at the Meadowlands, for instance, you know, you you got to kind of you know show up. That's why I like the uh, some of the mile and an eighth races there because there's you know there's more of a run up. But uh, you definitely have to get into a good early position. That's where you see at the Meadowlands a lot of horses they'll kind of fan out as they go around that turn. Yeah, they're just trying to, uh, we call it the floating away, right. is what we call it in the sport. You kind of leave a little bit, you just want to see what's going on, and then you figure it out from there. We're going to take a look at our second slide, and uh, this one I've titled Same But Different. A lot of times you have the same track, you know, size-wise, but that doesn't mean the circumstances are the same. Northfield Park has a passing lane, Yonkers Raceway doesn't, and they're both half-mile tracks. Yeah, right. And like you say here, you know, the banking of the turns, for instance, some tracks are flatter. And, you know, if you want to compare it to something almost like a NASCAR type track, uh, tracks like New Hampshire are very flat. 
Tracks like Bristol are really banked. So you have tracks like Northfield who are super duper banked and you have some that don't have that degree of banking to allow some of those outside horses a better chance. Uh, the second thing up there is length of stretch. Just because you have, let's say, two half mile tracks, you know, doesn't mean they're the same length. The Yonkers Raceway at one point had a 660 foot stretch. They've shortened that up since. Yep. There are some tracks, I think Northfield is short as 440 or something yep. like that. Yeah, it's, it's super short. And like I reiterated earlier, I mean, Buffalo Raceway uh, in Buffalo, New York, actually has the longest stretch of all the half mile tracks in the country. So you have a chance to kind of close more at Buffalo Raceway than you do, say, at Northfield or Yonkers. Mm -hmm. And different tracks, you know, even if they're the same size, sometimes they'll start in different spots. Yep. I mean, a track like Batavia is a good example. They don't actually start where the race is supposed to start. Yep. They start a little before. We call it the quick start. Yes, they get the, uh, or the run up, so to speak. Uh, they give them, you know, a few extra yards to kind of get going because that run to the first turn is just, it's, you know, it comes really quick and those turns are really sweeping. One of the things that can play havoc with racing and the conditions is the weather. Yep. I mean, and some tracks handle the better weather differently than others. A Meadowlands happens to be a track where it could rain all at once and the track just becomes faster. It could be freezing outside, like <laughs> minus 10. And for some reason, that track seems to get faster as it gets colder. Look at what we dealt with at Lexington last week. Uh, we got all that rain throughout the day and it seemed as the day went on, the track kind of got a little bit faster, a little bit more firm and it allowed the horses to kind of, you know, go a little bit quicker. One thing you'll notice when it comes to bad weather, most tracks you know, are faster when it's a little bit wet. Just a little bit of rain makes all the difference. A, if it hasn't rained for 30 days, that doesn't necessarily mean the track is so fast. You know, you could water the track as much as you want, but nothing is the same as rain. No, not at all. You, some tracks, they need that little bit of moisture. Uh, I go back to Lexington from 2019, where they hadn't had rain in uh, over 30 days, and they finally got rain on Futurity Day, and it completely changed the handicapping aspect. Uh, we saw horses like Sharton and South Windazi taste defeat at Lexington because of the moisture inside of the racetrack. Well, that's a look at the Learn to Bet harness racing segment for track configuration. There's a lot of different size tracks out there. Hopefully you'll find one you like, and it's really important to just stick with one track or one track size. I think you become an expert in one is better than being a novice in all. Yeah, for sure. You know, the track that you watch, whether it be Yonkers or Northfield or the Meadowlands, you start to learn the horses and kind of figure out what kind of trips horses are capable of getting. And the, you know what, you may run into a bias one night or a speed bias that you may kind of pick up on. You know, those are the things you gotta look at. Well, hope you learned something in this Learn to Bed Harness Racing segment. Good luck.